Okay, so here's a test pan inside one of my dad's test holes. I'm just trying to get a second opinion. A lot of these holes, if you do a pan side by side, they can still vary quite significantly. So you have to do a lot of testing to get a an accurate handle on how the deposit is distributed so that you can mine it efficiently. But you can see there's there's a lot of gold in this pan. And it was very easy to pan, easy to shovel. You have to consider that as well. If you have to pick rocks and do three or four rounds of labor before you can effectively sluice it, then you have to consider that uh, at the end. Is that gold worth it? If the gold take is significantly better, then yeah, it usually is. But something like this is, like there's a lot of flower gold in here. There is... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So you can see like even just in a small section if you divide it up there's like well over 50 just here. Another kind of 50. This is probably a pan of about at least 150 or something. 150 to 200. And there's some decent sized flakes in there as well. It's not all just micro fine gold. But you can see that a lot of the gold is incredibly small. And this is the kind of stuff if you sluice with an average mat, then you're going to lose a significant portion of these little fine guys. They're going to go right into your tailings and then back into the river for other prospectors with VDR mats to mop up. Okay, here just exploring along the old creek bed where it flows most of the the year it's dry now um, but look at the size of this birch tree it's the biggest old birch biggest oldest birch tree i've ever seen but actually mushrooms going out of the side of it but just to give you an idea it gets uh, three feet so diameter like six seven eight feet just amazing. Like that's just massive. It's been here for definitely a few hundred years. The mining dog, Nugget. Safety first. Look at that hard working duo. You don't get the hard working credit, Nugget. So. Well, I picked a nice new section here. And it's just a short run up here to the sluice. And the fine tailings. And then the dog tripping me up. Alright, so this is pretty special. We've finally done enough exploration here. We've done this enough years that looking at this deposit now, there's a line here almost directly where you can see the, the larger rock in the center of the frame. The line flows directly from the camera to that rock, and almost like a red line. And right where the shovel is located there, that's where I did this test pan. And this is one of the best pans I've ever seen in my life. Like right off the bat, it's just, you can just see all the gold flowing through there. There's big pieces, there's small pieces, there's, uh, I will do a final cleanup and I'll pan this down, but there's so much black sand and whoa, everyone loves the gold. But this is just, you can just see all the gold in there. It's just pretty amazing. This is stuff that's economic no matter where you are in the world. And there's big pieces, small pieces, wiry pieces, flat pieces. I saw some highly mobile flakes and tons of flower gold as well. Oh, get away from me, you big moth. Can't steal my gold. So this is just following this golden line here. 
And if these grades hold up, we'll finally be able to start uh, punching away here. Just, just amazing. Look at that black sand to gold ratio. I'm guessing there's at least a thousand in here when we clean it up. Or something, or equivalent, because there's so many large pieces. Like already, it looks like a thousand little dots, at least equivalent. Like look, look at that guy. Whew. Wow. He's even got texture, probably. And this is what these VDR mats are made for. Just gobble up gold like this. And this is uh, what we've always been trying to promote here. You can get cool spots like this. Come out here; they renew every year. Target the flower gold, the stuff that everyone leaves behind. Come out, have an adventure. Join the new Canadian gold rush, the new worldwide gold rush, the flower gold revolution. This is happening everywhere from British Columbia, Canada, to Wisconsin, to Australia, to all over the world. This is just, this is just amazing. Sharing ideas and equipment and technology and making the hobby a lot more fun. Stay tuned, we'll see what comes of this, but I'll, I bet I'll have to set up a time lapse here and we'll clear all of these rocks here, throw them to the side, or both sides there, so that we have an easy cleanup, so that for, when it comes time for reclamation, we can just throw them kind of back into the pit and then move a little bit of the tailings. We'll relocate the high banker up there into the high ground so that it discharges away from the river. And bam, that's another close run. No more wagon this year. And then I just want to clean up a couple little spots there. And uh, we should be good to go. Back on the gold. See, this is what life is all about, guys. This is one of the best pans I've ever got. Just thousands of specks of gold all the way through it, just layered. <laughs> There's tons of this stuff. The river gods have blessed us this year. Look at how much material is it here. There's hundreds and hundreds of buckets. Many tons, many yards here. All hand work, but when it looks like this, throw it in your sluice. Okay, here's October 4th, 33 pale. Clean up. We're averaging a couple of grams for, I don't know, somewhere around 55 pails. We actually just found a richer area than even this. Just letting this clear out. 